So I wanted to take a minute to show you some ultrasound pictures of median nerves um, in, the, in the case of carpal tunnel syndrome. And sometimes carpal tunnel syndrome isn't always as straightforward as you may think it is. For instance, if we look at this nerve here, this is the median nerve measured just proximal or up the forearm from the wrist crease. And we see that the median nerve measures 13 millimeters squared. If we follow that nerve distally, we can see this huge nerve as it gets down in, in, into the wrist region, which measures 25 millimeters squared. So neither one of these ner nerves are normal. So unless we address why this is so big, so remember, I don't know if you remember the numbers or not, but anything less than 10 would be considered normal. This is 13, even in the forearm. So this nerve may be sick even further up the arm. If we dress it only at the carpal tunnel, may not get the uh, symptom re resolution that we want. Versus the nerve down on the bottom, if we look at its area, it measures four millimeters square. This is pretty typical or pretty normal. And if we follow it up the forearm a little bit further, onto this picture here, we'll see that 16 millimeters squared, way too big. So we have a normal nerve in the forearm, a very abnormal nerve in the wrist. This is very typical carpal tunnel syndrome. So a few discrepancies. This is one uh, proximal nerve, measures five millimeters squared, uh, super, super normal uh, in the forearm. We go distant, distally down the forearm or, or towards the wrist and it's 22 millimeters squared. This thing's huge. So we can see that this is, once again, just, just run-of-the-mill carpal tunnel syndrome. Um, and in this wrist, we can see that it changes shapes as it goes down the, uh, the wrist. This one's 12 millimeters squared. Uh, so, I mean, this is pretty typical uh, for carpal tunnel syndrome. Um, this is a pretty easy one to see. The one I, think, one I wanted to show you is this one. This is the median nerve. So the median nerve is all this structure here, but the, the, the extent of the nerve is here. And here, this is what's called a bifid median nerve. So it's nice to know this prior to having procedure because sometimes the incision would come right through this little section of nerve here. And in the middle is an artery called a persistent median artery, which we'd want to uh, miss. Over here, we have the ulnar artery. So if we're doing the procedure, it would actually go through this tissue right here. You can see that in some of our other videos um, that we have online as well. But anyway, just some carpal tunnel anatomy, what the differences of the nerves and what they look like and how big they can actually get as they get into the carpal tunnel region, they, they more than oftentimes double and sometimes triple in size. So you know you have a really sick nerve at that point. But thanks for watching.